Well, for many nonprofits, grant money is vital, helping fund the organization's mission, but also the growth of that organization. But grant money is not always easy to come by. It doesn't grow on trees, per se. And this morning, the queen of grants, Libby Hikens, owner of GrantWatch.com, joins us this morning. Good morning, Libby. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. So tell us about your website and also your company, GrantWatch.com. GrantWatch.com is the website that lets nonprofits, businesses, and individuals know what grants are available. And we have a lot of research tools as well. Why is this so important? And my lead in there, I was talking about how grant money is not always easy to come by. What do you see on a day-to-day -day basis? On every single day, what do you see when it comes to, to grant money issues? More and more grants. They just come out and we just work very hard to keep up with everything that's out there. We add about 700 to 1,000 new grants a week. That's a lot of grants there, Libby. So uh, you have something new on the website, we're told, involving upcoming grants? Yes. What we found was that sometimes a grant is announced, but the guidelines are not quite ready. So when we know, we want to let you know. That's what we've decided to do. So we'll put up the grant. We might show you last year's guidelines and let you know in red, please wait for the guidelines before you submit and review it. But it gives you a heads up so you can tell, um, you can tell your staff what you're working on and what's going to be available and when the due date will be and when the opening date will be so you can start working. I think this is brilliant. It's kind of like a, a catalog or library uh, of grants possibilities out there for different organizations yes and they and different than a library we just keep adding and i guess kind of like a library if people borrow all the books they have to fill them up right so Very. we're constantly filling up the website because grants expire or they run out of funds and we want to make sure that you know exactly what's what's available and Libby, you have the website again that's going to be uh the website grantwatch.com but you also have a new book. Tell us about that. Oh, here it is, everybody. <laughs> um, this book uh, was published on February 1st, The Queen of Grants, From Teacher to Grant Writer to CEO. And the book tells begins with my journey. And through my journey, you'll learn a lot. And then it goes into every question you ever wanted to ask about grants, I've answered. Because Grant Watch is in business for now 14 years. So we have, we've gotten every kind of question there is. And then it takes you into how to write a grant. And I go through my um, following directions, which I'm always speaking about, and checking your eligibility. And then I teach you through my mnemonic, which is PMF, Passion, Maps, and Folders and how important all of that is. And then we take you through sustainability, replicability, um, a host of other things. And then I model a grant and show you how to map everything out. Grant Talk is our podcast. And that is where we interview people that have found grants on Grant Watch, and we talk about their journey and their tips. And now we're interviewing funders who give grants so you can find out what people are looking for. What, 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 what's the foundation, what is the foundation looking for when they look at your grant? I think it's going to be so helpful to everyone. You heard Libby insider information on her podcast. So make sure you tune into that as well. Grantwatch.com is the website and Libby Hyken. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Yes, ma'am. And much more TOA after the break.